demonstrators came out in support of health workers in a national day of action called by the health unions. Here in Worthing, the Unite community and its supporters stood outside Worthing Hospital waving banners. They wanted to voice their concerns over the Conservatives' latest bill to privatise part or all of the NHS. Today's a national day of action called by all the health unions, in fact all the major unions in the country, to defend the NHS because the new NHS bill is going to break the NHS up into 40 separate parts and that's part of the plan to privatise it gradually. The Tories say that they will look after the NHS. We don't trust the Tories to look after the NHS. They've already privatised lots of GP practices. And people may have noticed their local GP practice has been privatised. And that's going to come to other parts of the NHS, all the profitable bits. They won't take the bits that cost a lot of money. They'll take the nice easy bits to cream off the profits. And we just want to stop that. What, what happens to ordinary people if that does happen? Well, at the moment, they're saying everything will still be free at the point of delivery. But for a start, they're already saying that if you want to have COVID tests in the future, you're going to have to pay for them. Now that ought to be part of the health service because people want to know if they're safe and it shouldn't be down to whether you've got the money or not. And once they start charging for one thing, they'll soon bring in charges for something else. Labour councillor Carl Walker says that the NHS continues to be under threat from new Tory proposals for privatisation. 70% of families who have children with mental health problems cannot get help due to NHS underfunding. It's not underfunding, it's defunding. It's a deliberate strategy to defund and take money out of the NHS so that it looks like it's struggling and it's weak. And once you take the money out, you then start to have a rationale for starting to split it up, sell it off to private companies who can supposedly do better. But the NHS in 2014 was the single best public health system in the world, and it was the only one that was fully publicly funded. So in actual fact, we know that this is a strategy to try and take money out of the NHS to privatise it. The Conservatives claim that the NHS is safe. Councillor Emma Taylor from Labour says the Tories cannot be trusted and that the handling of the pandemic shows them for who they really are. I think one thing we've learned over the pandemic is that we can't trust the Tories. There's a very clear link between privatisation and corruption. And I think that's what we're going to see here as we see more and more of our NHS sold off to private companies. In the last election, Labour warned that, um, and particularly here in, in this constituency, we warned that the, the NHS was in jeopardy. Has anything changed? No, no, nothing's changed. What we've seen over the last 10 years is actually a systematic approach, firstly to underfund the NHS, so that they can then say that the NHS is in crisis, that it's not fit for purpose, that they need to privatise it. Over the last 10 years, hundreds billion pounds has been awarded to private healthcare companies. We see what they're doing, we know, and now as um, under Covid, the pandemic, they're going to use that as an excuse to give even more money away and even further privatise the system. The government says that they're going to set aside four billion to uh, deal with a backlog. Do you believe them? No, no, can't believe a word they say. They said there'd be money for the NHS from Brexit. That never materialised either. And what we've got at the moment, Simon Stevens, he's one of Boris's old university buddies. He's been placed in the House of Lords to oversee this bill going through that absolutely stinks of corruption. This is exactly what the Tories are all about. Jobs for their mates. They would sell anything. They'd sell their own grandmother to make money. We know that American companies want to get access to the NHS and possibly buying hospitals. What would, what would you say to them? How absolutely dare they? Um, my brother's in America, I see what's going on over there. They've literally got people that can't afford the medication that they need just to, to live their daily lives when they're having to choose between eating or medicating themselves. Hands off our NHS, back off. What, what can ordinary working people do to help the NHS and to help fight back? Yeah, I mean, I think people need to actually wake up and see what's going on. They do need to look at potentially, unfortunately, alternative media sources because actually the NHS bill has hardly been publicised at all. People need to actually work together, to come together in their communities. Workers need to unite to say no. I'm very concerned about this bill. They're talking about breaking up into 42 different services. So I'm really, really worried. There's nothing in there to reassure us that they won't further or fully privatise the NHS. People should be very alarmed about this. Campaigners believe that the Conservatives' intentions for the NHS are being motivated by the interests of business rather than the interests of the nation's health.